Titanic gaming The channel where Logan will show you everything From gameplay to gear, their crew is here To take you on a journey through every atmosphere Releases to news, you don't have to choose Red Bandana Gaming is here for you Hey everybody, Logan here And I've noticed so many other people doing what I'm about to do. So I said, sure, what the heck? Just like the PS5 controller video that I did. Yeah, so we're going to take a look at the Game & Watch. Now, the new Game & Watch, we're, we're not going to do an unboxing because I've actually already opened it. Tested out to give my thoughts on it. Um, funny enough, <clears throat> I bought one. And then um, my wife and I went to Walmart, and we happened to see two more. She's like, I want one. I was like, okay. So we bought it. Well, we went to grab it, and there was only two. She was like, let's get them both. So you can keep the one you have sealed, and then play this one, and play it. Uh, she'll play the other one. I was like, okay, no problem. So... <laughs> She opened it, played it for five minutes. She's like, I probably will never play this again, but it's awesome. She's like, just keep them both sealed. So I said, okay, and I'll just play this one. So I don't resell, I don't do any of that. So I ended up with three of these. So funny enough, uh, I really like this. Uh, I, I know I can get most of these... Well, there's only two games on here. Technically, third if you count the the ball game. But this is a really nifty little device. Uh, when I go to Disney, I could clearly see myself constantly keeping this in my pocket. When we're in those lines and stuff like that, just passing them back and forth. Playing Mario uh, 1 and 2 Lost Levels. Easily, instead of being on the phone, instead of, you know, social media, instead of carrying the Switch... This is a great portable little device. The quality of it, we'll, we'll take a closer look, but um, even on camera, that screen is fantastic. Uh, my wife was saying it's a little small. I was like, you hear it? It's, it's the clock. Um, I'm actually completely fine with this. I have the Game Boy Micro. It's actually... behind me i think you can see it right there so with the same color scheme i am used to this because i used to take my game boy micro with me everywhere so without further ado let's take a closer look <laughs> all righty so this is the device itself the box I really like the box. The box gives me that old school, I, I guess you could say Famicom, Super Famicom uh, vibe to it. This came out, the original ones came out right when I was very young. I was born in 83. There you go. Now everybody knows how old I am. And these came out right around the same time, if not before. And, oh, okay, because this side's still taped. And that gives you that old school, it says ball and everything. Nifty. The back shows you, whoops, sorry. The different games you can play and whatnot. I really like this. I, I like the, the Famicom colors. And it comes with a Type-C cable for the charging. So let's take a closer look. So, oh, it's plastic. The whole thing's plastic. This is a, a brushed aluminum. You got the, the D-pad, which is very similar to the NES, but each of the angles are slightly raised, the, the directions. The buttons are rubber. I'm sure you've heard this on a lot of the other ones. Um, other YouTubers or, you know, the big guys ha have talked about this and were complaining that they were rubber, but some people just don't realize that those... Are the original style so you've got one speaker on the left 
you got your Type-C charger and your power button. That's it. There's no headphone jack. There's none of that, which I'm completely fine with. So let's turn this sucker on. Let me zoom in a bit more for you. Zoom in. Zoom in. There we go. Sorry for the light reflection. Let's turn it on. So as you can see, that's the clock. Hit game. You can select your games up there. And returns. Oh, that's right. I was in game. Here, we'll do. Oh, wait, that was Mario 1. Oh, how about that? It has a quick resume. <laughs> but, as you can hear, that sound is actually pretty good. You can do different games. It's got a quick resume. The PlayStation 5 doesn't have a quick resume. <laughs> and the Game & Watch has a quick resume. <laughs> Super Mario Brothers 2. It's got a quick resume. <laughs> I didn't even notice that till now. Okay, so I don't know how to take that, but I think it's rather funny that the game and watch has a quick resume. But the the screen is fantastic. I think the build is great. It actually feels very good quality, even though it is plastic. The back's plastic, and like I said, this is that brushed metal uh, aluminum. Definitely worth it. These were only 50 bucks a piece, so they're really cheap. Uh, when I went to buy mine, uh, I, I went uh, my my first one. I got it at GameStop. Um, the manager, she was uh, make make sure she holds this stuff like that for me, and she told me that it was it was going to be in because I tried to pre order and I couldn't. So she told me show up on Friday when I get my Call of Duty and everything. Blah 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 blah. So I picked it up. I, I got there and she's like, "Oh, there's only two left. How many do you want?" I was like, "Just one. Why?" And she said, "Cause I want the other one." I was like, "Oh, I'm not gonna be that asshole." So, um, and then she rang it up, and. 50 bucks. I was like, what? That's it? 50 bucks. Yeah. This thing, a uh, great price. So you can buy two of them for a hundred dollars. That is fantastic. Now let me do a little comparison. Cause I know it looks rather, uh, tiny. So let's zoom out just a little bit and let me turn it off. So it doesn't kill the battery Whoop. and let's compare it to a switch light. Now, for those of you who own Switch lights, you can tell exactly the size. It's tiny. It's really tiny. I decided to compare it to a Switch Lite because this is the most common handheld that people have these days. Um, comparing it to a phone is a moot point because everybody has different phones. So um, I, I thought comparing it to the Switch Lite is the, the best Pretty much the best way of comparison. You can see how thin it is, whatnot. It's fantastic. It's a great little device. Great little gameplay. Yeah, you can, if you have Switch and you have the Switch Online, yeah, you've already got these games. And for a lot less than 50 bucks, for $20 a year. But this is a great uh, collector's piece. It's fantastic if you really have a, a soft spot for the game and watch or even these classic... Uh, Mario games. The Mario games are really what did it for me. Uh, just because I, I grew up playing those. I remember when those came out. I got my NES in 88, 88, 89, something like that. So it was still pretty late, but I was about uh, six. I think I was six years old. No, I was five when I got it. So I might have got it in, yeah, I got it in 88. I was five years old when I got my uh, NES. So, and of course, Mario was one of my first games. So this is fantastic little device. 
hits you in the nostalgia bone. It's fantastic. If you can still pick them up, I would definitely recommend go ahead and do it. Um, so there you go. There is the Game & Watch Super Mario Bros. 35th Anniversary Edition. So if you were on the fence about it and you were watch the other big YouTubers and sometimes it's hard to, you know, really... It feels like almost, yeah, no, mm, yeah, mm, eh. and then you watch me and you're like, you know what? Yeah, now I'm going to buy one because because Logan said it's cool. It's cool. So like I'm some kind of authority. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Um, remember, head on over to redbandanagaming.com. Uh, hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Share this video to anybody who hasn't seen one of these videos yet or the other ones just to, you know. Get me out there. We're we're growing. We're just about 600 subscribers. We're trying to get to a thousand. Let's get there as quick as we can. Thank you guys so much. Thank you for watching. Like we always say, be legendary. Thanks again. It's paused. I couldn't tell.